hello good morning welcome back my beautiful people at home and wherever you are watching from um, welcome back to my channel this morning i want to teach you how i arrive at this beautiful um dress you're seeing here and so if today is your first time of coming to my channel please give this video a thumbs up and um, don't also to forget to subscribe okay once you are through with subscription, hit the notification bell after the subscription button so that you always be first to get my what my upload. Okay, so I'm making this beautiful dress, the one you are seeing the picture here. So I've gone ahead to cut out my um my bust here. I this I did this video, I have it online, so I'll be putting the description, the link on the description below. So go and watch it, okay. How I arrive at this word, this separate bust here. Okay, so and um, uh, the base, the back, I'll be using a basic body. Okay, so this is the back. I'll be using a basic body. I have a video on how to cut a basic body. Okay, so I'll also put the link for you. And then for the sleeve, um, one of the, if you look at the picture we have there, one of um, one of the sleeve is um the fabric, and the other one is what is um a match. Okay, so I'm using my color. This match is my color, my skin tone. So I'm using I'm using my color. Okay, so this is it here. I'm using my color, color of my skin, and then this is also the velvet material I'm using. This velvet um mat fabric I'm using has design on it, has printed design of flowered on it. Okay, so this is what I'm using for the second sleeve, and then it's also going to have a yoke. So this is the yoke. Okay. I had to double the yoke, okay. I doubled the yoke, so this is the yoke, and then it's going. And then this is the lower bodies. I'm going to put the description, the link on how to do all those things. I have the videos online, but the one I'm going to be teaching you this morning is how I arrived at that. And if you look at the picture very well, there's something like a V on the neck area, that asymmetric style there. That's what I want to teach you this morning. So please do not go anywhere. Sit back and grab yourself your tailoring tools and let's dive into the class immediately. And okay, before I continue, I have gone ahead towards to iron my um my hair stay. Like the last time I told you that if you're working on a velvet fabric, you should use um a material stay force which i've done here use a material stay then before your what your gum stay that is if you're working with the gum stay then after that i went ahead to what to iron my um um my wording okay so but for the back i used a, a paper hair stay okay a paper hair stay is what i used for what's for the back okay so this is the paper hair stay for the back but the front is material hair stay okay just go to the market, ask them to give you paper hair stays. Very light. I used for the back. All right. No, and now I've also cut out all my linings. I've done. I did that off camera. All the linings I've cut it out. So I'll teach you how. I, also, how I arrived at the what asymmetric neck what. To start this, you need your what um the yoke. So this is the yoke I drafted out. So I'm going to trace it out on um. I'll trace it out here. Okay. I'll trace out the neckline as if you're making a basic body, okay? So I'll just trace this out. So, so let's assume that this is my what? My basic body, okay? So let's assume this whole um, paper is my basic body. So now what you're going to do is I'm going to open up the paper and also trace this out on the other side. So let's open it up and trace it out. So I hope you can see. So I'm going to trace it out this way also. So, so this is it. Hope you can see it. So this is it. Now you're going to determine 
uh, I don't know. Let me. Okay, let's keep it this way. Can you? Okay, let's don't worry. Let's leave it this way. So you're going to determine where you want that um that design to be. Okay, I want it to be at my right hand area. So this is my right hand side. So right now, I'm going to come on the shoulder area, which is here. Since I want it to be this way, I'll come on the shoulder area. So I'll come on the shoulder area, on the left hand shoulder area. I'm going to come there. I'll take 2.5, okay? So this is 2.5 inches. And then I'm going to come down with... Um, on the on the right on the right hand area i'm going to come down by um 12 inches okay let's make it 12.5 inches so from here from this point i'll connect it to me towards this point okay hope you can see very well so from here this point i'll connect it so i'm going to use green lines to connect it okay so So I've just connected this place. So right now, around this area, I'm going to come the end of the shoulder here. I'll connect. So, so you see what I just did there, okay? So that's the design, okay? But you can decide to do anything on that area, okay? But I want it that way. So I'm going to make it more visible so this is how we arrive at that what at that design so here is going to be net here is net um the asymmetric style is covering what covering um the our clothes even up to the boss point area so the boss points are 10 so it's covering it up to like 12 inches so so this is what the design so i'm going to cut it out Okay, so let's cut out. So the shoulder is going on. And this too. So this is the asymmetric was design on the words on that neckline so this is it okay so now i'm going to show you
now i've gone ahead to join my boss tea okay the same way i did uh, last week uh, my last tutorial i've joined it so but there's something different about this one i'm going to place it here it's going to touch each other a little and i'm going to stitch just from um the waistline to about three inches so i'm going to stitch it together so once i stitch this i'm going to put up my um my match that's the net okay that's the yoke all right so now um, i'm coming to that this is the back side you know that the back is usually um is usually shorter than the front part so what i usually do is this after i'm through with joining i trim off 0.75 from the down area so i'm going to trim it off so that the back will not be um will not have folds okay this will also prevent fold so i'm going to take out 0.75 from the back So, I'm taking that off. Let me trim this one more. So, I'm um, true with trimming of this one. And then I also trim this just make sure they are equal uh, make sure they are equal I discover they're not equal so I'm going to try to make sure that the two of them are equal so once I'm done with this I've also gone ahead to put my that on my skirts okay these are the two skirts this is the skirts that's the down part so i'm going to attach uh my upper bodies on it and then i'm going to sew through this way i'll sew through okay I'll set it aside and this is the second part of the bag I've also attached my darts on it so I am going to also join the upper bodies to it I'll set these two apart and then the design we made the design we made Remember the design, the one we cut out with uh, paper. That is this one. The design we remember. So what we're going to do is this. Uh, I've cut out the fabric. I'll be using this lace. We're using this lace. Okay. So we're using this lace material. So now if you want it to be thicker, to look thick, you should just use your gum stair on it. So, this is my lining. This will serve as my lining. This will serve as my lining. So I'm going to put my, I want to put the gum stair on this, okay? So, and then I will use it to turn up uh, the work, okay? We'll turn it up. I'll come back and then I'll show you how to join it. So let's put a gum stair on this. Okay, I've gone ahead to put my stay on this on on the asymmetric neckline so I am going to I've also turned this with what uh, with my satin I've turned with satin so I'm going to just place this way okay and then I'm going to stitch again okay 
I'll stitch through here and then I'll turn up. I'm not going to close the neck area. I'll show you how to turn up the neck words area. So we are going to go ahead and work and stitch. And stitch it. Your corners, all the round areas, not shit. And then, so I'm going to go and iron it and give it a nice, what, very nice press. So I've also what joined um the two back side. I've joined the two back side. Okay. Um, this is it. So I'm going to. I've joined the two sides. So I'm going to go ahead to, uh, to insert, insert my what? My zipper. Okay, so we're going to go and insert what? A zipper. It comes in gold and silver. So I'm going to use what? The golden part, okay? So we are using this area. So I'm going to go and close this place up and insert my what? My zip. So I just go do it off camera and start what the zipper. So once I'm through with uh, ironing it, okay. Once we are through with ironing, I'm going to stitch here just to hold it firm. So let's stitch together. So once I'm through with stitching, um, I'm going to trim off the excesses. So I'm through with trimming the excess. So I'm going to get the nets. Okay, so we are getting the nets. So this is the net. So I'm going to place it in between this way. So I'll place this way and I'll sew and turn it up, okay? You sew it and what and turn it what and turn it up. make sure you are not dragging okay
so once uh once we are through with this i'm going to trim off and then notch notch your work okay so let's notch i'm going to notch please don't cut through the thread lines just notch gently So I'm going to turn it up, okay, so that you see how it looks like. So I'm just going to hold it with my pin and then So you see the reason why you have to use your gum stay on it because if you don't use your gum stay it's not going to lie flat okay so what we're going to do is we're going to still go and iron okay so this is it we still iron then out of stitch on it So I'm going to place the bust here this way, okay? So this is the cape. It's going to stay on it like this. Hope you can see. So this is it. This is how it's going to look like. So right now I'm going to um, try to hold um, the mesh together with the what? With my bust here, okay? Um, I have a video on how to mesh this together both the bust here and the next together i have a video on it okay so i'll be putting the link below so that you go and um learn how to mesh together easily okay so so right now i'm going to go to my machine and run here through there and there and then i hold it what together okay then i'll show you how it looks so um this is it okay so you can see this is um i'm going ahead to sew i sewn them together so you can see how beautiful it's looking this is the cup the cup and then so i'll just go ahead and join my lower bodies and then i'll join my sleeve then we'll come back and start embellishing it okay just put any kind of embellishment you want if you want okay i've also gone ahead to join what my my zipper okay on what my back parts so the next thing to do now is um, to join my lower bodies but before then i i'm going to go and add put what my darts so once i put my darts i'll join what the lower bodies together